Hi, we're going to talk about the new iron tracker and by the end of this video you'll be able to uh, swap a patient, run it through the machine and you'll also know how to calibrate the machine. So, this is the iron tracker, it's a touch screen, everything's done by this control panel. The code to log on is 1234 and you know you've got to log on because it says use a log on, so it prompts you all the time. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then log on down the bottom. Now you can see it says calibration warning, so this machine has to be calibrated every eight hours. To calibrate, we use these calibration strips, and they look like this. And you know it's a calibration strip because it's got a C in it. Now, to calibrate it, menu, and you'll notice that a lot of these buttons, when you come to use it, will be shaded out and you can't use them. And auto calibrate, okay? So it's menu auto calibrate because you need to tell the machine what you're doing. Insert the calibration trap which is obviously this one and it goes it takes seven seconds for the machine to ca calibrate the um, to calibrate the strip and again you're prompted to remove the strip. Take the strip out. Now you're prompted here to enter a file name which will be the patient's name or if you're calibrating just put calibration and then again it's going to ask you for if you want to make any notes um, so, you know for example why you're swabbing somebody if you don't want to if you don't feel it's necessary to write any notes don't write any just click enter again this is the keyboard works exactly the same just click enter now you can see here it says it's positive for cocaine so it flashes up red cocaine and the reason it's flashed up red for cocaine on the calibration strip is because that's how we calibrate the machine. So every time you calibrate it, it will test positive for cocaine. Click OK. Now the machine will automatically clear itself. So it's now cleaning the insides, getting rid of, them, getting rid of all the drug residue. So in the meantime, this machine's going to live in my office in Camelot 3 until we've had a specialist cabinet built. So if you want to swab people on the wards, there'll be these evidence bags in the search room uh, and there'll be a strip, a calibration strip in there, just take them to the ward and do it that way, is the easiest thing. Whenever you're swabbing somebody or something, you always must wear gloves um, so, you, so there's no uh, cross-contamination. So I'll just pop my gloves on. And this one. Now, uh, so it says no alarm ready, so we can just press OK to get rid of that message. Now, to who swab somebody, we need to use these sample traps, and they're called sample traps, and it says it on the packet. Or if you're using an evidence bag, there'll be one already in there. So, with our gloves on, we take our sample trap and then you can use this on five different surfaces. So it could be hands, pocket, desk, TV remote and we, it's done in exactly the same way. So a little bit of pressure, one direction, pull down, okay? I'll just show you again. A little bit of, pro little bit of pressure to make sure you're actually pressing onto whatever it is you're sampling. Press and pull in one direction. Don't be rubbing around. It's got to be one direction. Okay, thank you. Now, again, we know the machine's ready because it's green, no alarm, and it says ready. So the sample trap goes in to the hole, and it takes seven seconds to sample. Uh, it's sampling. So it says now it says please remove sample, so just follow the on-screen prompts. Take the sample trap out. Positive for cocaine. So here you can write, I don't know, date. So let's put David's name. David. Click enter. 
file already exists. Now you'll get this quite a few times because it's saving it as a, a Word document. So you can just put David surname stone. Any any notes you want to put in? So red eyes. And so it's tested positive for cocaine. So all we need to do now to clear this for the next use is we press clear, top button, machine clears, it will give you a printout that you can then take to the ward or show the patient. It takes a, does take a little while for it to clear um, and then it's ready for the next use as well. So just to summarise while we're waiting for this machine to clear, always wear gloves, Login code is 1234 login. If you get the auto calibrate message, click on the menu button, click on auto calibrate, use calibration traps, just use one into the slot, follow the on screen prompts, take it out. When swabbing a patient or surface or whatever it is you're going to swab, a little bit of pressure, one direction pop it into the machine and it will give you a printout. Any issues speak to me or Nicola Pieck.